Hey guys, Richard here from another building site here in Austria. And today I show you how a full Luxon smart home is wired and built. It's a project of a family member. That's why I have the pleasure to film and document every step of it. So it will be a cool video series. In Austria, we build houses like this. A lot of countries might be surprised how thick of a brick wall we have here in Austria in a new building. It's a 50 centimeter block, it's crazy. I mean, look at that size. <laughs> Let's start from outside here. There will be a few different lighting circuits. There will be wall lights shining up and down. There will be bright lights to light up the area here in this carport area. Same here and there. Then we have a Luxon intercom coming here. It will be typically mounted 1 meter 60 on the upper edge of it. So the center of the first hole will be 155. Take care, you cannot use the normal drill distance that you usually would. So the distance from the intercom to NFC is 69 millimeter. Then of course we also need a wire for the electrical door opener back to the cabinet. The intercom needs one LAN cable here and another bus cable here to the NFC. You could power the NFC directly from the intercom but take care if there is a network error then the intercom is not reachable from the mini server and the NFC as well so you could not enter the house. That's why I typically use just another cable for the NFC code touch here. Then to leave the house I typically plan a touch here so you can do a triple tap turning off all the light in the rest of the house so you cannot forget to have any light on. Then we have concrete ceiling in here. There will not be gypsum so it will stay like this. That's why we have electrical boxes for the present sensors and the spots here. Here you see there is pre-made concrete elements and then you wire or you pipe the boxes. All of them go down here to the cabinet. So we have different lines, like one bus line for all the present sensor in the concrete ceiling. Every lighting circuit has a dedicated pipe. Then there is speaker boxes and so on. And here you see the pink one, that's for the audio. And then you see lots of lighting circuits there in the kitchen. It was a rainy day, it was super loud, so I do a little voiceover here. But let's continue in the other video. The electrical cabinet will be in this room here. You see there is lots of pipes already coming here and lots of pipes will come on the floor here. There will be isolation and then there will be underfloor heating and then there will be another concrete layer and then the final floor comes. That's why we have plenty of room for all the wires on the floor. There's a lot of special requirements here. There will be an LED strip RGBW here in the wardrobe. Here at the stairs there will be a um, where you hold your hand, there will be an LED strip in there as well. We have another push button here, we have present sensors in every room and there is a super nice open space living dining kitchen area. This will be the living room here. We have a push button here to leave the whole area. There is a dedicated one for the living room area. There will be a wall for the TV with some RGBW LED strips as well. Otherwise here for the ceiling there is one central outlet. And for the rest of this area, there is spots planned. So we have a lot of electrical boxes there as well. There is audio, of course, in this area. So we have the purple Luxon boxes for concrete installation. Then there will be a kitchen island. So there will be pipes going from the kitchen island back to the cabinet. And then there is a lot of sockets for the kitchen top and also some LED strips and other stuff. Then we have outside shading coming, shutters with um, adjustable lamels and we have cables for each of them back to the cabinet. There is decentralized solution like the Nano 2 Relay 3 but then you would need a box in every room for every window where you can connect the wire coming. So we decided to go for a central solution with relay extensions. Then there is a nice outdoor area where we will have satellite speakers for audio as well, a few lighting circuits for indirect light and also direct light to see stuff. There will be an infrared heater as well and it's also a super nice area here outside. Before we go into the first floor there's one thing we should not forget which is the weather station from Luxon to have the wind speed, temperature, rain sensor and also the lux sensor for brightness. And in this project we were just discussing where to mount it because if we mount it somewhere here on the facade then the rain sensor of course under the roof would not be <laughs> would not get any raindrops, also there would be a shade on the Lux sensor. So on top of the roof there is no photovoltaic system for now planned because there is a shared photovoltaic from this house, which is their parents' house. 
So we were just discussing where to mount it and we decided we put it there on this. We put it there where my finger point is. So we have every sensor perfectly available. And now let's have a look upstairs. Upstairs where you hold your hand, there will be LED strip. In addition, there will be wall lights mounted here as well. And here in the hallway, we have some more spots. It's a super cheap solution with 24 volt spots dimmable because we can have four channels, one white dimmable on an 80 bucks dimmer. A link to a more detailed video up here. Yeah, otherwise there will be an office, there is some more shades, but everything else is just basically the same stuff. We have lighting circuits here, in this case just on off, 230 volt. Then we have a push button for inside of the room and also for the outer hallway to leave the area here. Then we have the master bedroom, which, which also has a wardrobe here. The master bathroom here, also with a nice big window. Then there will be the mirror here, which will be super nice inside of the wall integrated. So you see this is a little setback here, so it will be then flush mounted with the rest of the wall. They have a super nice guy for the furniture. So in this room we need 230 volt permanent power for the sockets. Then we have a ventilation or an exhaust in here. So we need another 230 volt here, which is this one here. And then we also want to have the LED lights of this mirror just on and off controlled as well. So we need a third 230 volt line. Then we have the bus cable from the touch. So the push buttons in this floor will all be connected from one to another using the bus topology because there is nothing else. All the present sensors are mounted in the concrete ceiling, so we don't need so much cables to run back to the cabinet. Then we have another warehouse or how to say storage room here in the first floor. We also have the pipes for the underfloor heating system, which arrive here. So we have another bus cable going directly to the cabinet because depending on how many circuits it is, there might be 20 valve actuators tree on this one line. So I don't mix it typically with the bus line of the touches. Then we have two kid bedrooms and also another kid bathroom. In here we just have one outlet on the ceiling which will be 24 volt dimmable light as well. Then there is also shading, push button here. Next to the bed we will use the night light of Loxone because I have no clue yet where the bed is coming. This room here basically is the exact same. And then the bathroom for the kids is also the same as the other. So to sum it up, we have the locks on push button in every room. We have presence detection, we have window and door contacts, we have electrical shading, we have dimmable light, we have color LED for effects, we have audio. So there is lots of cool functionalities we can build with this later in the software, like the alarm system, automatical shading, presence simulation. There is so much stuff we can do. And if you don't want to miss out the updates on this video, which will come in a few months, because you see it's... <laughs> Would be my pleasure to see you in the next videos. Now I have to leave because there is some more work to be done. See you then.